Hi sweeties! For today's video, we're going to talk about the inductive learning. In our contemporary society, teachers are discouraged to spoon-feed information to learners. Instead, teachers are to provide opportunities for students to discover concepts on their own. One way of doing this is through the inductive learning strategy. Inductive learning, also known as the discovery learning, wherein it is a process where the learner discover rules by observing examples. This is different from the deductive learning, wherein the students are given rules that they need to apply. So when we talk about induction, wherein it is also based on the principle of induction. Induction means to derive a concept by showing that if it is true to some cases, then it is true for all. This is in contrast to deduction where a concept is established by logically proving that it is true based on generally known facts. The inductive method in teaching is commonly described as specific to general, concrete to abstract, or examples to formula, whereas the vice versa are used to describe the deductive method, wherein it starts in general to specific, abstract to concrete, and formula to examples. In an inductive learning lesson, teachers design and facilitate activities that guide the learners in discovering a rule. Activities may involve activities may involve comparing and contrasting, grouping and labeling, or finding patterns. In, ma in mathematics classes, learners engage in inductive learning when they observe examples and then later on generalize a rule or formula based on the examples. There are four processes that the students go through when given an inductive learning activity. First is to observe. Next is hypothesize. Next is to collect evidence and lastly, generalize. Men love looking for patterns. When given a lot of examples, it is natural for them to look for similarities and assume rules. So the key is to give them examples to observe. These examples must be well thought so that the students would eventually arrive at a complete rule. Students to discover the rule in multiplying by powers of tens, we have here set A and set B. It is better to use the example in set B than those in set A. Why? For example, in set A, we have here set A, we have here 10 multiplied by 6 and the answer is 60. While in set B, we have here 6 multiplied by 10 and the answer is 60. So both sets will lead the students to discover that the, te that the technique in multiplying by 10 is placing a zero after the number being multiplied. So however, variety of examples in set B allows students to establish that the rule works even when changing 10 and the other factor. For example, we have here 18 multiply it by 10 and the answer is 180. So the 18 we're just going to add 0 to make it 180 if, if we are going to multiply it by 10. And the other factor ends with a 0 that 0 is not neglected. For example, we have here 40, multiply it by 10, and the answer is 400. So the 0 in 40 is not neglected. We just add another 0. So set B allows students to have a more comprehensive understanding of the rule. Next is hypothesize. The students form rules in their minds as they observe. In this stage, encourage the students to share their thoughts. Assure them that there are no wrong hypotheses. Acknowledge the variety of students' ideas, but also streamline them too. Later on, that's only the unique hypothesis. Next is collect evidence. Here, the students would test their hypothesis, but 
how? How are they going to test their hypothesis? By applying their hypothesis to other examples. If there are more than one hypothesis generated by the class, intentionally give a counterexample for them to test. Ne Next is generalize. Finally, the students would now formalize their hypothesis to a rule. Support the students so that they would use mathematical terms in stating the rule. Doing this would develop the students' mathematical vocabulary and therefore their overall mathematical communication skills. In so in summary, Inductive learning is about the students discovering the mathematical concepts by the by themselves with the teacher as a guide. So in this strategy, students observe hypotheses, collect evidence, and generalize. So from inductive specific examples to general rule, while in deductive from general rule to a specific example. That's all, sweeties. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.